Commercial pilot Todd Ketterman, <laughs> all the way for Florida, long times yeah. Hogs member. Yeah, no, I mean this this was an incredible experience. I mean just to be here and uh, you know work with Kenny and, and meet the whole crew and Heather and just have this, uh, you know, to go to go through to brush up to get ready for the commercial. Um, it, it was more than just here fly and do this. It was the experience. It was all of Hogs. It was all of you guys just giving me that that time. I mean it was very kind concierge in the way in which it was brought together. We had food, we had everything we need. I got to spend as much time here. We got to brush up on stuff. We were able to just come out and fly to do anything. I mean, that's unheard of to have that. But the experience of being here, just to calm down, just to be here, and uh, yeah, it was just incredible. I, I can honestly say that, um, you know, if you are in any way at a point where, you know, you're ready to go for a cert, you're ready to do you know that prep work and you need that one-on-one -on -one, no pressure you got the instructor you got the airport you got the whole inside you got couches you got food you got drink you got water you got coffee you just got everything you need the setting is incredible there's a real there's a real feeling in this place that that just kind of gets you uh, in the right headspace. So I can't say enough about what Kenny, Heather, the whole team here has put together uh, to come out and do that. So just just uh, it, again, if you're at a point where you're ready to have that experience and have something really cool that's just going to you know dust off the edges, the rough rough edges, and get you ready and and pumped up, there's no other place I guarantee you that's going to get you ready for that. Private Pilot 101 check right success proven strategies. We have those for you. This whole week or this whole month we're talking about the helicopter training blueprint for newbies getting you started. Everything that you're going to be doing is leading up to the day of your check ride to take your test and get your license, which is why one's called helicopter check rides and the other's top 10 check ride tips of the books I did before, right? So this one is Though geared towards new people. However, a good friend of mine, Dave Faulkner, who's a CFI, said, hey, there's a lot of good stuff in there that even people that are working on rating or working on advanced ratings are probably going to want to hear. So it's the goal. The goal of your training is up to that day so you can get your license, go start flying as a private pilot, take up your friends, take up your family, fly for lunch, and go enjoy yourself. So for a proven strategy, I have a little note here called hit the ground running and hit the ground hard. And the reason I say this is in the past videos, I've said, you know, everybody struggles with the ground. That becomes the problem from everyone. So the way that you excel through this is the sooner you work on the ground stuff and the sooner you get that written test out of the way, the better off you're going to be because that's going to help you in the aircraft. I just talked to a Hogs member on the phone this past weekend. He was here this summer. We helped him finish up his private after he had a bunch of hours in another flight school. Now he's at another flight, different flight school working on his instrument. And he's struggling with the instrument and the, and the written and the flying. And his instructor said, well, hey, you know, we could just, you could start working on commercial and we could chip away at the instrument over time so it's not so rough on you. And I went, how many hours more do you need for commercial? And he's like, like, like 60. I go, I wouldn't listen to that instructor. You know what you need to do? You need to finish that written test for that instrument. You've started flying the instrument training, but you're not, you're struggling with the written. Stop flying, get that written done, because the more knowledge you have on the ground, it's gonna make it go smoother in the helicopter when you're doing your instrument training. It's the same thing with private. The more you learn in the beginning, the faster you are gonna progress in the helicopter and that is some of the tips that's right here free pdf down below of our new amazon number one bestseller so we help you with this book we help you with the strategies to start the private pilot training get through the training up to the day of the check writing we even have you give you tips inside of here and the biggest thing i can tell you about the taking the test 
is nerves. This is what bites people in the ass check ride day. You forgot something, you didn't complete something, there was something that you knew you needed to learn a little bit better, or maybe there's a maneuver you're still messing around with. That's where the nerves come from. If you take the time and you thoroughly go through the PTS, which is the practical test standards, that will become what we call the Airman Certification Standards. If you're going through that and you're working through it, you're gonna be more confident on your check ride day. And here's a problem in the industry. There are a lot of instructors that aren't using the PTS. And there's a lot of people that wait till the day before the check ride and start looking at the PTS. That is a major problem. Using the practical test standards throughout your private pilot training from the very beginning all the way through, if you're properly preparing for that test, you're still gonna be a little bit of nervous, a little bit of nervous, a little bit of nervousness is good. Overly nervous, you'll blow it. A little bit of nerv nervousness actually helps you do better. And so I wanna reemphasize that the more you learn on the ground, the better it's gonna go in the aircraft. The more effort you put in in the very beginning, the more you learn, you're kind of going, ah, this doesn't make maybe a lot of sense, but I kind of get it. Then when you get into the aircraft, then it's gonna make sense. So if you start early with your ground school, whether you're doing it yourself through hogs, you're doing it all with your instructor, you're doing it with a group of students in a classroom setting, hit the ground as hard as possible in the beginning and study your ass off. That's how you do this. That's how you get through. I'm telling you, I've been doing this for 23 years. We've been peeping, helping, we've been peeping, we've been helping people for 12 years now online. That's the big celebration, March 1st, 2024. It'll be 12 years since we went online. That is a celebration. So that's what this book is about. So if you're the newbie, you're thinking about it, you're just getting started, this PDF is down below. We launched it January 27th, 2024. Hit Amazon number one bestseller that day. Um, when I got up that morning, we actually launched it the previous night. The next day I get up, check my phone. Yep, Amazon number one bestseller. We built this to help you get through the training. And we also have a lot of questions in the beginning, things that people ask early on in their training. And then we kind of guide you through the process of what to look for uh, pre-solo, during your dual training, during your solo time, and then preparing for the check ride, and then a little bit about the next step after your private. So we're celebrating online right now with 20% of all of our memberships. The code is HOGS12YEARS. Lindsay will edit that into the screen so you can see it. So you can take advantage of that sale at helicopterground.com. We'll put that link down below along with the link for the PDF. We're gonna put the link down there for the Kindle copy. And then I'm also gonna share my Amazon author link as well. I never mentioned the Amazon author link. That's where you can get a number of my different books at the Amazon link. I'll put that down below as well. So come back tomorrow and we'll see you next video. Peace out. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the hogs, no go, and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com You know, and I'm halfway through, I have to back up. Whew, got through that one. Now I can move through the next. <laughs>